Horror and stealth make a good mix. Lots of games have proved that. Alien Isolation, Amnesia, Penumbra. But one attempt in particular fucked it right up. Like it takes skill to make games this atrocious. It's honestly like the game was made to test the patience of the player. Like some sort of sick joke. Just every single facet of this game is poor from top to bottom. You see YouTubers say this all the time, but I'm being serious when I say this is one of the worst games I have ever played. Plot. Seriously, it's one of the most unintentionally funny things I have ever witnessed. Right off the bat, you crack a smile at the absolute gold on display. Sir, is the Nightwalker population really expected to exceed that of humans in 908 days? Where did you hear that? One of the lab boys, sir. He also said that if the growth went unchecked, 80 million people may be killed. That's what happens when you let pencil pushers run a country. They did absolutely nothing, while Nightwalkers claimed victims every night. I heard about your family, sir. I'm sorry. Most of the plot revolves around four characters. Main protagonist, Jake, I want to be Solid Snake Lloyd. Black man, who's your squad leader, but is vastly unqualified for the job. What's the building used for? Slightly less black woman and Hanson, the radio tech guy. It starts off quite promising. It's even atmospheric, the first mission, but then it goes straight downhill. It's obvious from the moment you start playing that this game takes inspiration from more superior stealth games like Splinter Cell and Metal Gear Solid, but somehow manages to take everything that made those games good and smash it into the ground. No indication of how loud your footsteps are, no indication of how visible you are. In fact, you're just as visible in a shadow as you are under a street lamp. You have weapons, obviously, and according to the plot, they are anti-vampire weapons, so naturally you think, oh cool, if I'm spotted I can use my gun as a last resort, so I gave it a try. <laughs> Alright, one. Anti-vampire weapons my black ass. What is the point in the gun then? Two, what's the point of him knocking me down, taking off three quarters of my health, and then twatting me whilst I'm down to take the rest? Just kill me in one hit because there's no way to recover after being knocked down. What's even worse is when you are spotted, you can't run away and hide. You're just completely fucked. The vampires can move stupid quick and jump across buildings, which would be a good way to make them seem intimidating, but you just can't hide once you've been discovered. They'll see you, run at you at the speed of light, twat you to the floor, and then twat you again for good measure. Though to be fair, about eight missions in, you pick up a shotgun which can annihilate your enemies, but after each mission ends, your weapons are reset along with ammo, so you start each mission with a useless pistol and assault rifle, because in a spout of fair play, Lloyd must break the shotgun in half over his knee. Most of the missions take place in wide open maps, so you think, oh cool, a few routes I can take to get to my objective. Wrong! There's boundaries all over the place, as well as placing enemies with absolute eagle vision on certain routes so you can't get through. So there's always one and only one route to go, and most of your mission is finding out which route it is the game expects you to take. A hot tip if you ever lose your mind and want to play this, it will be the longest, most backward ass, ball achy route where you have to practically circle around the map. Even when you do find the right route, there's no guarantee you won't get spotted and die, forcing you to go all the way back to the start of the level or one of the very sparsely placed checkpoints. This is because the enemies are just so inconsistent. On the minimap, it sometimes displays their line of sight, sometimes it doesn't. If you spot them with your necrovision, which only works when it feels like it, it will display. But even when you are clearly outside their sight range on the minimap, they will spot you. Get this as well, throughout the game, it's always raining. And again, according to the plot, the rain is meant to dull the vampire's senses. Ha! You can sneak up on some vampires and shiv them with your UV knife, which has ammo? Yeah, you have to pick them up in the streets because this city infested with vampires, they have decided to leave their one weaknesses just lying about all over the place. And this anti-vampire agency that you're playing as, they don't seem to equip their own troops with them. But again, it's inconsistent. You'll sneak up at a snail's pace behind a vampire only for it to go, huh? What was that? And kill ya. Other times you kick a crate open right near a vampire and they just stand there. I know I said this at the start, but it really feels like this was made as a sick joke. What can we get away with kind of thing. Oh, and you know how the enemies are really fast and deadly? Well, here's the first boss who is meant to be the prime vampire. You 
have to play story missions to unlock tutorials, the radio calls and voice acting are absolute tosh. Harrison to Lloyd, you got a minute? What is it? What would you say our odds of survival are? You were the sole survivor of a Nightwalker attack. Captain. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I was out of line. You see, I promised my kid I'd take him to a football game. When I thought about that, I just had to ask. Forget I even brought this up, Lloyd. Harrison out. You'll have a cutscene, walk two steps forward and trigger another cutscene. And the icing on the cake. It's our sworn duty to protect our nation from the Nightwalker threat. The Nightwalker threat? And what do you think they are? Modern day vampires? Are you saying they're not? Absolutely. What does that say on the case? It looks like complete piss as well. Stiff animations, drab lifeless buildings, awful lip sync. The only good thing I can say about this game is the rain effect looks good. People defended this as well. This game is a good game, it's just most people don't know how to play it. If you like games such as Splinter Cell and other type stealth games, you will love this game for sure because almost anyone who played this game and said it sucked probably just ran around like an idiot with their gun out and tried to kill the vampires. This game will appeal to those who enjoyed Thief Deadly Shadows and the first Splinter Cell on the original Xbox. It's about stealth, not running and gunning. Wow, I guess people just don't know how to play games anymore. This is why this got a bad score. It isn't the best game and it definitely has its flaws, but it's not as bad as what people make it out to be. This is the reason I can't wait for our nuclear apocalypse.